Okay, so everyone, um, a lot of you, school probably starts tomorrow, and this night, this might be posted on my first day of school, or it might be posted today, I'm not exactly sure, but anyways, I'm debating what fidgets are good to bring to school, and, you know, I'm gonna take you guys with me, so, first up is squishies, I'd say squishies are great to take to school, they're not loud, and then there's these keychains when you can hook onto your backpack. I think I have a couple keychains. I have this donut one, this cookie, and I have this normal here. And I think they're good to take to school. And then underneath the squishies, we have a bike chain, which I simply lose at home a lot, so I wouldn't recommend bringing it to school unless you know how to keep track of it. Because it is pretty small, and yeah, if you're me, if you're like me, and I feel like I lose my phone every day, and I also lose this a lot, and it's hard to, I like, dig through the whole box to try and find it, but yeah, so this would be fine, and it is a little distracting to people, you know, like, if you hear that, so, yeah, <clears throat> Moving, so I don't think this is the best one to bring to school. And then slinkies, I some people consider them fidgets, some people don't. So, I mean, if you do this, that can be distracting because it makes a noise. Um, and if you stretch it too far, you can hit someone. So I don't recommend bringing it to school, but. Um, you know, if you know you can be responsible with it, and you're not gonna make little noises that much, how can bring it to school? Next up is a Rubik's Cube, which I personally don't like Rubik's Cubes, so I wouldn't bring it to school, but, um, it might be distracting to try and solve it over time, you might have, like, the urge to solve it every once in a while, but, yeah, I mean, this one's kind of in the middle. Next up, we have pea poppers, which somehow pea poppers are only a little bit bigger than bike chains, but I always seem to know where my pea poppers are, and they are pretty silent, and this the middle one has a cute face on it, so I would recommend bringing this to school. And then, if you have one like I do, this one has a keychain, and this one doesn't, but this one does, so you can attach it to your backpack. And then, an infinity cube. I would say no to the infinity cube, only because... That makes a lot of noise, and if you do it on repeat, like, a lot, it's going to be distracting to other students, and, um, you can be distracting to yourself as well, so, yeah. And then, I'm just going to put these back super quickly. Don't want to waste any of your guys' time. Next up, oh, and also firm squishies, I think, would be fine. But if you know you're gonna try and squish it to be like a normal squishy, it might be too distracting for you. Okay, I'm so sorry. My friend called me and I told them um, I will call her back in a minute. So, anyways, the next one are the dimples. I do not suggest bringing this giant dimple. I know it's not humongous, like the dimple digits, but still, it's bigger. And then you can also attach a keychain to it. The smaller one, I think that one you can also do too, but I feel like the smaller one would be better. And also, these, the bigger ones make more noise, so yeah, you might want to go with the small one. I do say that these make noise, so they might be not the best for, like, tests or anything. But when I've brought this to school, it's been perfectly fine. But yeah. Moving on. And here is the little backpack. I have my mochis. And mochis are not the best to bring to school because one, they're pretty small, and two, they get dirty super duper uber 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 easily. So yeah, and then moving on to slimes and putties. I feel like maybe you can bring putties as long as it's not too sticky. But I wouldn't suggest bringing slimes because, you know, they're kind of well slime. Moving on to the next bin here, and here I have my DNA ball, which I love this DNA ball so much that I like to make noises with it. It's not going to make a noise because, yeah. 
that noise. I know I had to do it off camera, but still. That noise is what I'm talking about, and I would not trust myself with this because I just wouldn't because I would make too much noise. And also, if you jiggle it, it makes noise. So I wouldn't really recommend the DNA ball, but if you are just a person who likes to squeeze, it still makes noise. But maybe if you squeeze slower, like that, that will be fine. But yeah, I would not trust myself with that. I have a hacky sack here, which I don't think is considered a fidget, but I have it in with my fidgets. Which makes noise, and also I'd be too tempted to throw it up because I don't know. Pop tubes definitely way, 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 way too loud. Also, I don't know why this one's upside down. A marble and mesh. I think I am not the biggest marble and mesh fan, but um, it's great for school. Monkey noodles, yep, great for school as long as you're not tempted to slingshot them. Anxiety rings, when I brought this to school, one of my friends was very tempted to get it stuck on his finger. So, maybe not for ev maybe it's not for everyone, but yeah, I would trust myself with something like this. And it's nice and quiet too, oops. A fidget pad. So, some things on the fidget pad make noise. Like, these two buttons here. But these two buttons are silent. You can move this around. It's not very loud. You can use this as long as you don't just... And let it go like that. It's kind of hard to show. This is loud. You can do this. There's this one that's silent. And then this one's all loud. So, as long as you only use certain parts of the fidget pad, I think it'd be fine to take to school. Blackie tracks do make a lot of noise, and also you'd probably be, at least I know I would be tempted to, you know, make shapes and stuff with them while we, like, while we were doing a presentation or something. This is just my broken fidgets, so yeah, we're not going to go into there. So last thing we have are poppets. I think poppets are fine when they're on the soft side to do during class so maybe like in the morning you want to switch them all to the soft like do the loud side maybe like on the bus or something or if you don't take a bus like at home or in the car or if you walk you can pop it while you're walking but like see this is the soft side and then here's the loud side now this one's actually a pretty soft one but my two louder poppets which would be this among us poppet and this bear poppet they are pretty loud and distracting and also oops hold on it pops like this i'd probably be too tempted to do that so it kind of depends for poppets as well but yeah those are the that's what i kind of just wanted to do today and i kind of just wanted to bring you guys along with the experience so oh and by the way we are now at seven subscribers so let's try and get to 10 subscribers i'd be so excited if we got to 10 subscribers i know it's not as many as a lot of youtubers but it'd make oh my god oh my god it'd make my day it'd make my week it might even make my month but yeah i'd be so appreciative if we could get to 10 subscribers thank you everyone and goodbye